I followed Campbell and Cobb and you know the Bluebird and always wanted to do it. It just uh, took till now to to get there. I've always been competitive. If you and your friend are going to the grocery store to get some bubble gum, it was uh, it was a race to see who got to the store first. And you didn't have to say let's race. It's just that's what you did. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if everybody's that way, but that's the way I am. I started with model airplane engines and then uh, lawnmower motors. And you had to be careful around our house. You didn't leave something lay around too long because it would end up, you know, bolted on the back of some little cart or something going around the block. This car is a direct drive. There's no clutch. It's got a reduction box in the front of the engine because the engine turns 16,000 RPM when it's at maximum. The exhaust air actually drives over these, these blades that turn the output shaft. So it works basically like a torque converter on a car or on a snowmobile. And so it's, it's pretty slow in the beginning about, I, I compare it to riding on a city bus. About the time you get a mile into the run, it takes off about like a jet airplane does. All the pressure goes through the engine into the combustion chamber. All of a sudden it hits and, and you're going. On a practice run on El Mirage Dry Lake in California, Don Vesco challenged one of the fastest production cars, the Dodge Viper. Well, the comparison to Viper is if we both left the line at the same time and stood on the throttle, he'd probably be a mile and a half down the road before I got up to 60 miles an hour. I wouldn't want to race a Volkswagen for the first mile. Don Vesco plans to go for the wheel-driven record. Our goal is to go 500 miles an hour, and then uh, maybe if we got good enough ground to run on, it's possible the car will go 600. 